And we are going to take Bashar and what he talks about uh, is a true secret for the law of attraction. And we're going to compare it to where it fits in the law of one tarot. Here is the true secret of the law of attraction. You have a core vibrational frequency. It is purely, uniquely you. It's a beacon. It's like a lighthouse. It shines. It radiates purely that signature frequency of your unique being. It never stops radiating that light, that frequency, that energy. Never stops. Everything that is in a light. You know what's interesting? Now, what I'll do is I'm going to stop it at first and then we'll let it play the whole way so you can um, grasp it and look at the law of one tarot on your own and see where it fits. This is just my opinion. I feel like what he's talking about when it comes to your core frequency, the frequency that you emit, it is yours and only your personal signature. I feel like it's right here. I feel like in 3D, it's the Empress, the catalyst of the mind complex. Because the Empress, I always say 3D is the unconscious until you become self-aware. The reason I say 3D is unconscious, the experience here is unconscious because your emotions are always running the show on based on your subconscious beliefs. So the unconscious is held within the 3D organs. That's how we feel the pain and suffering in 3D. That's kind of why I feel like the core frequency that he's talking about that we have and that we emit, which is usually unconscious until it's not, until we become, make the choice to become self-aware, I feel like is within her right here, the catalyst of the empress, because she also has this this veil like not sorry not not a veil she has this light that's around her head so let's listen to Bashar one more time let me know what you think where you think it fits in because I could be wrong I always say that right so let's have another listen. here is the true secret of the law of attraction you have a core vibrational frequency it is purely uniquely you it's a beacon it's like a lighthouse it shines it radiates purely that signature frequency of your unique being it never stops radiating that light, that frequency, that energy. Never stops. So maybe what she has here over top her head, that maybe this is the core frequency. I've never even looked at it like that. But maybe this is the beacon. This is what he's talking about. Because all energy coming inward or going outward is, it, it comes in through the crown, right? It comes in through the crown and um and stimulates the rest the crown is the one that that uh what is the word it it it's the master gland right it it um it's the one that watches over all that guards all the organs maybe this is what it is maybe that's what he's talking about i've never looked at it this way but it's very cool let's listen to it one more time then we'll move on here is the true secret of the law of attraction. You have a core vibrational frequency. It is purely, uniquely you. It's a beacon. It's like a lighthouse. It shines. It radiates purely that signature frequency of your unique being. It never stops radiating that light, that frequency, that energy. Never stops. Everything that is in alignment with that frequency is doing its utmost to come to you. Everything that is not aligned with that frequency is doing its utmost to get as far away from you as it possibly can. If the things that are aligned with that beacon aren't reaching you, it's not be. So I feel like here what he's talking about is the body complex. Like if this is the beacon, your core fre frequency, your energy, your signature energy, if this is what you're kind of born with, it, it is also the spirit complex's desire and faith that your unconscious mind, once you're born, you forget everything, comes you, that you throughout your journey make a choice to become self-aware to these negative experiences that you may be having in this life. Because 3D, I always say, this is the unconscious. The And I... I think that the potentiator, all three of these, is the subconscious. The reason I say 3D is unconscious because our journey and purpose here, sole purpose, you have no other purpose other than becoming self-aware. 
That's it. That's the only purpose we have. And you have to make a choice to do that because of free will. There really isn't any free will. I'm just using that word in this blog right now. So if this is your core signature energy, whatever you attract, and he talks about free is based on your frequency. I am beginning to understand this in modern day tarot. They call this the wheel of fortune, but I like to call it, I used to call it the wheel of chakras. So the catalyst of the body complex on 3d, but now I actually call it the wheel of organs because the more I just like in the last year started really studying the organs and understanding how important the organs are and they run the show until you don't let them and it's unfortunate because I studied the mind and the spirit complex first but that's just how it my journey was but I wish I had studied the body complex first I feel like I would have moved faster in the journey but anyways I now call this the wheel of organs. The reason I do that is because the organ is the one that emits the emotions, especially the endocrine system. So the endocrine system is going to emit an emotion based on past beliefs that are unconscious to you. That's why Catalyst 3D is unconscious. And that unconscious is already, it, through cellular memory, is already held in your organs. Therefore, the hormones that your endocrine system begins to emit based on the experience you're having, if you're having a fearful experience, your root chakra, the gonads are going to emit a fear response just like that. So this emission of hormone goes through your bloodstream. And this fear that is now running through your bloodstream is going to create a frequency and that is the chakra the chakra is the light and the wave how much distance so vibration is like this frequency is measured of how much distance is between the first wave to the second wave how much distance when you measure the distance if fear creates a lot of distance like this so the wave is going to be the wave is going to be like sh uh, long and slow and sludgy. So that is the frequency that you are emitting outside of you now. Let's see what he says next. Because you're not vibrating at the resonance that you need to attract it. It's because your definition. Here Start is the over. true secret of the law of attraction. You have a core vibrational frequency. It is purely uniquely you. It's a beacon. It's like a lighthouse. It shines. It radiates purely that signature frequency of your unique being. It never stops radiating that light, that frequency, that energy. Never stops. Everything that is in alignment with that frequency is doing its utmost to come to you. Everything that is not aligned with that frequency is doing its utmost to get as far away from you as it possibly can. If the things that are aligned with that beacon aren't reaching you, it's not because you're not vibrating at the resonance that you need to attract it. It's because your definitions and beliefs are holding it away. If the things... See, this is it, man. This is it. This is, this is, this is the answer. Bashar just gave it to you. It's because the beliefs, the beliefs are in your subconscious mind and you remember you're not aware. So if you're being potentiated by your beliefs that your core and in within the core of you, let's say this is the core of you right here within the core of you, you literally probably have that are running the show one to three beliefs max three. And I'm pushing it when I th say three, it's usually one or two. The reason I say one or two hardcore beliefs is because the spirit complex when it comes into this blue this um this body the blueprint of what it wants is usually one max two within the blueprints and the blueprint is based on your birth chart so your astrology will tell you what your blueprint is that blueprint can really energetically in a lifetime here on 3d hold one or two core beliefs that are suffering based that the 
your spirit complex wants to become self-aware on in 3D and move on from and do the opposite of. So these core beliefs, which you're not even aware of, which is what Bashar is talking about, I believe lie within all three of these. I think the subconscious mind is very closely, all of these are very closely linked. They're archetypes. They feel like the subconscious, these three work very closely together. So what he's talking about, your core beliefs, look, she's sitting right in the middle, right? Of the yin and yang symbol. And look at him, the hermit, always so dressed up, deception, deception. Cloaking the core beliefs, cloaking them from you. And we're always just jumping off the tower because we're supposed to until we take in this light information. Let's listen to Bashar. I'm going to start it again. Here is the true secret of the law of attraction. You have a core vibrational frequency. It is purely, uniquely you. Empress. It's a beacon. It's like a lighthouse. It shines. It radiates purely that signature frequency of your unique being. It never stops radiating that light, that frequency, that energy. Never stops. Everything that is in alignment with that frequency is doing its utmost to come to you. Everything that is not aligned with that frequency is doing its utmost to get as far away from you as it possibly can. If the things that are aligned with that beacon aren't reaching you, it's not because you're not vibrating at the resonance that you need to attract it. It's because your definitions and beliefs are holding it away. The subconscious mind. The high priestess, the archetype of the high priestess. She's just an archetype. The archetype of the hermit. This hermit looks very different than the hermit in modern day tarot. Isn't that funny? The archetype of the spirit complex is pushing what you really want in life away because of the lessons and journey this spirit complex wants to have in this 3D unconscious life, which, your, which is your sole purpose is to make the choice to become self-aware. If the things that are trying that are not vibrating at the resonance that you need to attract it, it's because your definitions and beliefs are holding it away. If the things that are trying to get away from you can't get away from you, it's not because they're not trying, it's hmm. because you're holding on to them. Look at this. This totally reminds me of the freaking hermit right here. It's because you're holding on. Look at he's holding on to so much stuff. It's because you're holding on to him. It's almost like she is the one. The mind is the one that the where the beliefs um, are created and pushing everything away. And the body complex is holding on to the beliefs that are created through the emotion within the organs where she the mind is going to work with the body complex obviously the spinal cord the stem is it's connected goes through the spine and the mind is going to push out what he's holding on to until you make the choice not to do that anymore very cool very freaking cool so the truth it's because your definitions and beliefs are holding it away. If the things that are trying to get away from you can't get away from you, it's not because they're not trying, it's because you're holding on to them. So the true secret of the law of attraction is not how to learn to attract what you prefer, it's how to learn to let go of what you don't mm. so that you can let in what is trying to get to And there you have it, folks, the significator. So remember, the significator is actually as uh, like within the law of one, if you read the series, the significator 5D is where the fool, so in modern day tarot, they call it the fool. 
but it's actually the choice card. In order to make a choice and change these emotions, the experience and the pattern that you form, so 4D is giving you your experience. So the patterns that you formed, the for time, experience, the emperor in the mind, and he is Yang until he isn't. This strength card, and I, and Ra calls this, I believe, don't quote me, the temptress, I believe. And then the spirit complex is moon, I believe that's contemplation. That's the first engagement to what is going on. Do I, is this my belief? Or has somebody else created this for me? So this here, these three archetypes create your experience through the concept of time, which is just an engagement of the web, like the spider web we talked about last time, that is built in the potentiator and the catalyst. And the time is responding to how heavy your emotions are within this geometry or web that you've created because your beautiful external uh, sacred geometry that you came down with, with God's will and your spirit complex, the heaviness created within your 3D life here creates another distorted web within the beauty of the matrix that you had when you came down with. And these beliefs are the ones that weigh the most within the web. So in my last vlog, I explained it like imagine a spider creates a beautiful spider web. Then you get a fly that gets stuck in it. Those flies, then when they get stuck, it's all the web goes all weird and it's wonky. Those flies, imagine them as your beliefs. Until that spider comes and observes that fly and recognizes it, it is going to that fly is going to eventually die, and but the sacred geometry is going to get bigger and bigger. So it gets heavier, right? The spider is either going to come take it, recognize it, eat it, put it away for food, take care of it, or it's going to get heavier and eventually maybe fall out because it gets too heavy. That's what happens with time. It's that fly that's stuck. If you don't deal with it, it gets heavier and heavier and heavier and keeps bringing you back the frequency right here because the heaviness is within the chakras, the frequency emitted through the organs that create the chakras. So that's why he's saying you have to make the choice. The choice is made in 5D through absolute surrender and letting go whatever the bad emotions are, not getting attached to the bad emotions. And that's when you experience the death of the hermit. And then you alchemize. This is the alchemist. To you automatically, by definition. That's the true secret, and that's why it's effortless. It's just about letting go and letting in. It's not about having to learn to do something you're not already doing. Makes sense? Makes sense. Yes. I love him. Does Thanks this help? The shark. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love him Here so is much. the true secret of the law of attraction. You have a core vibrational frequency. It is purely, uniquely you. It's a beacon. It's like a lighthouse. It shines. It radiates purely that signature frequency of your unique being. It never stops radiating that light, that frequency, that energy. Never stops. Everything that is in alignment with that frequency is doing its utmost to come to you. Everything that is not aligned with that frequency is doing its utmost to get as far away from you as it possibly can. If the things that are aligned with that beacon aren't reaching you, it's not because you're not vibrating at the resonance that you need to attract it. It's because your definitions and beliefs are holding it away. If the things that are trying to get away from you can't get away from you it's not because they're not trying it's because you're holding on to them so the true secret of the law of attraction is not how to learn to attract 
what you prefer. It's how to learn to let go of what you don't mm -hmm. so that you can let in what is trying to get to you automatically by definition. That's the true secret, and that's why it's effortless. It's just about letting go and letting in. It's not about having to learn to do something you're not already doing. This is so cool. I'm going to end this vlog real quick. I just thought of one more thing. This is why maybe there's such a heavy dedication to the letting go process because there's two cards, right? There's not only the hangman who's letting go, you're actively contemplating the emotion and your third eye is taking in the contemplation and then you get this death card too. So it's not, you need the death card in order to become the alchemist and to let in what you really want to experience in this life. So these three cards, that's how they work together. But these three cards, it's interesting, only work together when you go through this contemplation. You start letting go. When you start letting go, the third eye is activated and more of the divine um, and the higher mind gets to come in. All right, I'm out of here. I'm going to go for my walk now, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you have any other um, ideas, I always love when people comment and I read them. And I'm going to start commenting back because I think it's kind of fun. We can kind of engage here, right? But anyways, my friend's waiting for me at the beach. So I'm going to go. Then I'm going to do yoga. I'm loving my life right now. So I will talk to you guys soon. Love you all. And I hope you have a wonderful day.